Hi guys, welcome to Life with Gaz and today I'm out with Ghost and I'm going to talk a little bit about flying birds on crayonces. This is something which, if you're um, into birds of prey, it's a tool that some people use, especially if it's dark, if it's um, in an area where you think maybe your bird's not going to be comfortable, or even if your bird's at a stage of training where you think, okay, uh, I'm not 100% you're going to come back straight away. So it's just a safety and an assurance. So what I'm going to do is obviously talk to you guys a little bit about it. Uh, crayons, it attaches to a swivel through the bottom of the jesses, which obviously attach to the anklets up here. And what we're going to do is just uh, get Ghost to do a couple of flights up and back. Now normally you'll see me using a post with a little top on it like that. I don't like using them with a crayons because sometimes the birds will fly and they'll loop around the post. That crayons get caught behind it and it stops the bird from being able to come back. So today, instead, what I'm going to do is send Ghost up to the top of that bit of wood up there. Now that means that he can't really snag up, but what I need to do is make sure that I've got enough line out that that bird can reach it. So what I tend to do is I tend to just throw my crayons out to the area which is going to, go just past it so I know that I've got enough line there. Go and pick my crayons up, so um, and now I know that Ghost can miss that uh, post and go about four or five feet beyond it, and uh, that means that you can't really go any further. Now the trick is with uh, flying on a crayon is to make sure that your bird doesn't just get yanked out of the air. So if Ghost is going off in the wrong direction, what I can do is let this crayon go just go over my hand without obviously making sure it's not wrapped around my feet or any obstructions on the floor and if he's going the wrong way you can just really gently slow him down and that makes it a little bit more effort to fly but that means that the bird will then generally come down to the ground the trick is is to not stop the bird dead because you can do loads of damage to their hips and um, also when you stop them dead they go crashing down to the floor and that can do damage to your bird as well so essentially when I'm flying them up there all I'm going to do and this is what I tend to do when I'm using a crayon is I tend to just make sure that I'm flying at a fairly short distance so once he's up there there isn't really anything for him to uh, snag up on now when I ask him to come back that crayon obviously ends up down behind the glove the next time I ask him to fly I'll flip that over onto the front now, this being the case, obviously um, the anklets and the jesses, they're important. So what I'll do is I'll do a part four to this series and that part four will talk about the anklets and how they all work. But we'll just give Ghost one more flight before we finish this video and uh, send him up there and uh, just let him sort of go up and fly back again. So all the time when I've got him, I've got that crayon just in my hand, just there. Now Ghost is just um, trying to play with his jesses at the moment. One of the downsides of using a crayon is that that swivel sometimes obviously holds the jesses together. When it holds the jesses together, sometimes what will happen then is that your bird will then start sort of checking them out, seeing what's underneath their feet. Whereas uh, when your bird's not, um, when your bird's not doing that is usually when you haven't got these uh, swivel on which keeps that underneath their feet just there and that obviously means that these birds are going to sort of um, not be distracted quite as easily but anyway I hope you guys have found that helpful and if you have make sure you hit the subscribe button just here underneath ghost check out my latest owl training video over on this side and check out uh, one of my training playlists up top